<laughs> Any, anyone? Anyone call anything else? Thank you. Can I ask, did you find the, with the other competitors, did you find yourself being inspired by what they were singing and you were mm. covering new stuff all the time? So, the, it's a, I'll, I'll be honest and candid about what happened on the day. I don't think any of us listened to each other's ones because we were all, you know, we were sort of in the holding pen of backstage and then brought out. But um, I've definitely gone and listened to a lot of that repertoire after the fact. And obviously the, the girl who came second, who was also a soprano, um, usefully for my repertoire bank, um, because we shared that recital, we heard a lot of each other's. And I think that will be what means that this prize goes from strength to strength because always in the first year that you launch something you know we didn't it wasn't there were fewer competitors than there would be in the prizes that the RNCM have been handing out for decades but there were plenty of RNCM students in the audience and I think that they will all have kind of been thinking oh maybe that would suit me and maybe I can look at other things by that composer and next year I'll enter and I can really imagine it just becoming the kind of thing that everyone in the vocal and piano department at the RNCM knows happens and then you start to seek out that repertoire as a result from the beginning of the year and I just think that will make such a difference you know e even for people that don't that don't win the prize uh, you know just having a few of those things in your bag I, I think yeah I think it's a really great <coughs> way to make that infiltrate what I loved I think just pointed out something that made this competition was a struggle was that the prize winning Two bedrooms in the cottage, but they are actually a pair. <laughs> 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 